Hey everybody, it is Scott the Treasure Coast Picker, and tonight I want to show you a couple of things I sourced uh, kind of on the fly, almost by accident. Uh, I was scrolling through Facebook uh, page, and uh, one of those Facebook Marketplace ads popped in, and this guy had uh, some barware items for a very good price, and there was something in there that uh, jumped out at me, and I, I, uh, I sent him a quick message. I said, if this stuff is still available, I'm very interested, and I could come by and pick it up you know, today. And he got right back to me and said, it's yours, come and get it. And so let me show you what we got. This, this is not, there's only five things here, but uh, I think we're going to make some money on this stuff. Uh, the first item is, is, is um, this uh, Seagram 7 uh, America's Whiskey uh, Swizzle Stick holder. And the cool part of it is it's filled with Swizzle Sticks. And there's another, you know, bunch more down here. Uh, probably around 100 Swizzle Sticks. And uh, the, the, the container alone could probably can get 10 bucks for the container. But the Swizzle Sticks, there's from, from different airlines, uh, cruise lines, hotels, casinos. Um, here's the, the Flamingo in Las Vegas. Now, by itself, this is worth probably 10 cents, maybe. But um, if you lot these together, if I put all the casinos together and I put all the airlines together in different lots, I can probably make my money back on what I spent. Um, this, these here are um, political ones from a place called the Caucus Room. There's an elephants and there is a donkey here. Here's, here's the donkey. You know, and again, the political ones, lock those together. Uh, this one is from a ski resort. It's a ski. And they also have tennis. Here's their tennis. is the same thing. So, so out of these, you know, hundreds or so swizzle sticks, I can probably put together, uh, you know, half a dozen lots and sell those lots for maybe ten dollars a piece. This, these two, Elvis, um, are kind of special. I thought these were going to be really good, but they turn out they they sell for about six dollars for the pair. Uh, if you have a black and a white, you get about six dollars. So that's six dollars, and by itself. And then these these guys are called the um, bottoms up. You can see why. And um, it says bottoms up cocktail mixer. I've got four of them. And four of these will sell for around fifteen to twenty dollars. So right there, there's money in these little swizzle sticks. Now let's move on to the next item. This guy is this is not really great, but it's complete. Um, this guy this is a thing you put on your home bar. It's a bar tool kit or set. This is avoid hangover, stay drunk, and there's these uh, two uh, turn of the century type bartenders. And what's nice about this is it has all of the, the tools are complete. It has the, the spoon with the, the olive spear on the end of it and the, the uh, strainer. There's a corkscrew here. Corkscrew. And then there's a, um, what is this? Oh, this is ice tongs. And then the one thing that if you look on eBay, there's a couple of these on eBay and none of them have this. And none of them have the, the, the cup that uh, sits on the guy's head and will fall off eventually. But uh, I looked at the ones on eBay. Nobody has the cup because the cup probably falls off and gets lost where the other stuff stays in the, in the compartments. Anyway, this will probably be somewhere around $15, I think, because it is complete. <coughs> and then the, I said there was something in the, in, the, in the picture that caught my eye when I saw these uh, on Facebook. And this was these guys, Bert and Harry Peels. Now, this is a, a rubber bar display. It says you, can, uh, you can't beat the taste of... Uh, Peel's Real Draft, and this was from 19, I don't know if you can see that, 1975, I don't know if you can see that or not, 1975, and um, maybe it's there, I don't know, in any case, it's, it's rubberized, and I guess this sat on the bar, and I think there's a space here for a, uh, you probably put a bottle of Peel's beer there, and there's a little slot here, which probably maybe had the price of whatever the bartender was charging for a a bottle of uh, peels at the time, but it's in really good good shape. I cleaned it up with some magic eraser. It's got some a few scuffs and, and spots on it, but uh, overall, this thing should bring around 50 bucks. There are some guys that are asking over 100. I really don't know. I'm going to do some research and see exactly where I think I could price this so I can, um, you know, not be be fair with it, but not try to gouge, uh, you know, overprice it because it'll just sit if you overprice it. Anyway, Bert and Harry Peels, and this is a bar back display from 1975. <clears throat> Next to last item, and this is a real nice item. Um, 
liquor bottle from, uh, this is Old Crow, you can see the Old Crow label there. The label has, it looks like it was washed because the label got, got wet. But uh, this bottle um, is the uh, one you look for. There's two versions of the Old Crow bottle. This is the early version with the orange, or some people say brown vest down here. The later version will have a red vest that goes all the way up to here. And what I'm told is that quality on that one isn't as good as this one. This one is made in England by, if you can see down the center, made by Royal Dalton. And he's in beautiful condition. He has no, no chips or cracks or anything. The only, the only thing, and I was going to sell it without the top. The top is broken. Someone, I think, probably, it would probably stuck in there from, for years. Someone tried to pry it off and broke that because it's made of wood. It just chipped it off. I was going to throw this out. Then I realized that on top of here is this is the I guess they call it the tax stamp or whatever it's called, and it has the date 1950, which puts which pushed this bottle as a 1950 bottle, and um, it's as old as I am, uh, so uh, and, it's in, and it's in better shape than I am. Uh, at least his hair is as long. Um, I think uh, I looked up on Terapeak on eBay. They have a Terapeak feature. If you have an eBay store. You can do research with the Terapeak, and on average, these sell for around sixty-seven dollars. So I'm thinking, um, you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to shoot a little high, probably put it up for like eighty-nine dollars, the best offer, because he's just gorgeous, and he is one of the uh, the earlier the earlier bottles. So the old Crow bottle. And finally, I said it was going to be short. Finally, let's get rid of the Peels brothers here, and these guys out of the way, so I don't knock them over. The last item I have is this Miller Genuine Draft giant can. And what this is, is a light. It lights up. Let me get the switch going here. It lights up. It sits on the back of the bar and displays. And it's got a revolving piece in the center. And as it revolves, it will highlight that. And then it'll come down here and highlight this. I'm not sure what it says. Uh, gold filtered beer and some other advertising uh, Stuff. Let me just turn the light out and see if it makes it any better. No, it actually puts more of a glare on it. But you can see that um, this is a really cool piece. Uh, I was a little disappointed in the, in the research on this is that the prices go for anywhere from 25 to 30 up to about $50 on this, which isn't bad when I'm going to tell you what I paid for everything. But uh, this, I think, is a spectacular piece. And if I had a bar, I'd keep it for myself, but I don't. We'll turn that off there. And so let's talk about what I paid. <clears throat> I paid $20 for all this stuff. Uh, I saw the Peels Brothers thing in there, and I, I, I called, I, I just messaged the guy, said, look, I want this stuff. I'll come and get it. He said, fine, come get it. It's yours. And uh, I did the whole social distancing. I put my mask on, gloves. I pulled up, opened my trunk. He came down, put it in the thing, gave us $20, and off I went. So um, you can find things, uh, even if the thrift stores... Uh, and the flea markets are closed, uh, keep your eye on the Facebook marketplace or join some of those Facebook selling groups because stuff like this will pop up uh, from time to time and you might just see something that you can get. Uh, this guy was moving, so everything was pretty cheap. So I got, I got all this for $20, uh, beautiful. I think, the, I think I'll probably get close to 200 uh, on everything when I sell it. And what I'll do is when I do sell all this stuff, I'll do a, another video and, 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 and uh, show you what it all sold for. Hopefully it'll It'll go quickly. Well, that's it for tonight, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. I'm uh, trying to build up my uh, subscriber uh, to the channel here. I'm up to like 173, 175, something like that. And we're trying to get to 200, and we'll go from there. So, again, we'll uh, see you next time, and hopefully my hair won't be in my eyes. And uh, maybe I'll get a haircut by then. Who knows? Have a, good, have a good week. We'll see you next time.